this Eucharistic celebration, we join Mrs. Betty Kaija, who prays for the soul of her mother, Mawanda Faith Nakajubi, who passed on this day six years ago. May the Lord grant her eternal rest. She also prays for all the souls in purgatory and for her family intentions through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, there is no better way to start the day than with the holy sacrifice of Mass. And in today's word, Christ calls us to be collaborators of him in spreading his word remembering that he himself was hated and therefore as his followers we must also be prepared to be hated to be persecuted for his sake so dear brothers and sisters to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries let us call to mind our sins and ask for god's pardon i confess to almighty god and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, who through the regenerating power of baptism have been pleased to confer on us heavenly life, grant, we pray, that those you render capable of immortality by justifying them may by your guidance attain the fullness of glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. First reading, a reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, Paul came to Derbe and to Lystra. A disciple was there named Timothy, the son of a Jewish woman who was a believer, but his father was a Greek. He was well spoken of by the brethren at Lystra and Iconium. Paul wanted Timothy to accompany him, and he took him and circumcised him. Because of the Jews that were in those places, for they all knew that his father was a Greek. As they went on their way through the cities, they delivered to them for observance the decisions which had been reached by the apostles and elders who were at Jerusalem. So the churches were strengthened in the faith, and they increased in numbers daily. 
As they went through the region of Phrygia and Galatia, having been forbidden by the Holy Spirit to speak the word in Asia. And when they had come opposite Mysia, they attempted to go into Bithynia. But the Spirit of Jesus did not allow them. So, passing by Mysia, they went down to Troas. And a vision appeared to Paul in the night. A man of Macedonia was standing, pleading with him and saying, Come over to Macedonia and help us. And when he had seen the vision, immediately we sought to go on into Macedonia, concluding that God had called us to preach the gospel to them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him singing for joy. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Know that he, the Lord, is God. He made us, we belong to him. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Indeed, how good is the Lord, eternal his merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. then you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, If the world hates you, know that it has hated me before it hated you. If you were of the world, the world would love its own. But because you are not of the world, but I chose you out of the world, therefore the world hates you. Remember the word that I said to you, a servant is not greater than his master. If, any, if they persecuted me, they will persecute you. If they kept my word, they will keep yours also. But all this they will do to you on my account, because they do not know him who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. God is good, and all the time. The Lord is good and the Lord. Being a follower of Christ or being a Christian always comes with a price to pay. It is not always that things will go well, because at times we shall face hatred for the simple fact of being followers of Christ, or when we make choices even that have something to do with our being Christian, we could be hated for that, or simply because of telling people facts in their eyes, facts which they are not easy 
which are not easy for them to accept or which they do not want to hear. Christ reminds the disciples of this fact that because they have chosen to follow him, they are bound to suffer. They are bound to be hated because of that. So he prepares them such that when these moments come, they should just remember that even the master himself was hated because of this. Sometimes this hatred, even us who are living as Christians today, we go through this in simple daily facts. Perhaps somebody develops anger over you because he feels that even your own spirituality, the way you are living your Christian life, is better than theirs. Or sometimes it is just because they want to discourage you. I remember once when I made a decision to join the seminary, especially among my peers, they were asking, are you okay? Is everything fine with you or you need some assistance? Because sometimes certain decisions we make for others, is a, it appears that we are crazy. And yet Christ is calling us to be so radical to such an extent that we let go of things of the world because we are not of the world, but because we belong to Christ. They will hate you, he, say, he reminds them, remember this. But also remember that they hated me before you. So the disciple is inspired by the example of his master. And Christianity today also, basing on this example that we have had, means going against the current. It means going against those norms of the world so that we are able to be the ones correcting the wrong things that are going on. It means swimming against the current. And if you are swimming against the current, it therefore requires that you are strong enough that your muscles are not just for playing, but they are strong muscles ready to defend the word of God. And we shouldn't conform ourselves, therefore, to the norms of the world and let ourselves be taken by its waves. But unfortunately, dear brothers and sisters, oftentimes this is the case because when a Christian is faced with hard moments, they begin to look for simple solutions. They begin for, to look for simple remedies that at times conform or rather make them go against the really uh, testimony that they are supposed to be giving of, uh, to, 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 to Christ. And instead of re remaining strong, they let themselves to be led astray. And eventually when we discover at times it is too late to return and then you just continue like that. Christ reminds us that we are not of this world and therefore if we are not of this world we should not expect the world to love us but we should be happy because we are following Christ our happiness our joy comes from him because he chose us out of the world to live in the world but we are not of the world so it is our presence that must bring the light of Christ into the world it is our presence that must provoke conversion in the hearts of others as we have heard in the testimony in the first reading that uh, gives us a sh this assurance because as we've heard, even the Greeks were converted and Timothy was able to be circumcised and he also joined the Christian camp. They rejected the world and joined Christ and they went through cities preaching his word, strengthening others in faith. But uh, this all happened because they let themselves be guided by the Holy Spirit. So, dear brothers and sisters, let us pray that the Lord may give us courage and strength when trials and episodes of hatred come our way so that we may be able to give witness to his love and mercy. The Lord be with you.
pray, dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Lord, Accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his. Accept in compassion, Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family, that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received but attain the gifts that are eternal, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to load you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. Even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Paul Semo Gerere, our apostolic administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection particularly those we remember in this Eucharistic celebration, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be called heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who say to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the risen Christ be with you always. And with your spirit. <laughs> takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say your word, and my soul. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen.
Let us pray. Keep safe, O oh Lord, we pray, those whom you have saved by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you now and forever. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go forth to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. A blessed day to you all. Thank you.